Welcome back, everybody. Time for game number two of DK Dota up against the Hyper Glory team. We've got ZSMJ versus Burning, although game one was all about the Mushi. Mushi OD tearing everyone a new one in game one, taking DK to victory after a 10k gold deficit. Lysander, can ZSMJ and Code pull it back in game two, or are we looking at a DK 2 0, do you think? I don't know. They might have a little bit too much raw fish on their hands. <laughs> I love the song you played in the last break. Too by much the way. raw fish to handle. Dude, that funny, well, not so much funny story, but the story behind that, I. Uh, the game ends, I'm like, what song do I want to play? I YouTube sushi song, and I just choose a random song that comes up, and it was. It, it blew my expectations away. I was, I was so happy. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That was a um, pretty big comeback, but then yeah. nothing less from DK. Uh, they've been pulling stuff like that since the start of the time, and now we see Ice 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 Bat Rider. Mm, I haven't mm. seen this in quite a while, actually. Yeah, the Have Bat I actually seen this before? I don't think so. Bat and Centaur both get through the pool, but no big surprise it's the Bat Rider that gets first picked up. So I think Ice I Ice, Ice Ice, he played, a, I... he played a couple Bat Rider games at Starlight, didn't he? I can recall, I think, at least one. Hmm. Maybe, I, I haven't caught every single he played, Starlight. Yeah, it's he's... too long. It's not I like mean, one the of his. Are drawn out too long. Yeah, not like one of his go-to heroes, but it's definitely something he's more than capable of playing. So, uh, we'll see him uh, handling the Batrider first pick, unless they send it mid uh, for Mushi. But Batrider's not a very strong mid anymore. Just his last hitting is a bit iffy, and uh, part of being in the and the radiant offlane especially. Batrider is especially What's, strong on the um, radiant side. Are you gonna switch the stream back, or are you gonna keep it on the Chinese stream? Oh, we're on the Chinese stream, so. Okay, so Caref I'll careful. talk uh, from the Chinese stream then. <laughs> yeah, right. no spoilerinos. <laughs> Too late, chats in no rage. Oh, <laughs> oh I unmuted it for a second. Um, yeah, so Batrider picked up by, by DK. I accidentally had the uh, Chinese stream on at one point during the live game, which isn't meant to happen. Oh, but... Okay. I think, think we'll use the, the Chinese production value, right? Yeah. I like, well, okay. is, it, is it Chinese production value or is it European production value? Hmm. Well, you know China. <laughs> You know, there, there was uh, a guy with that. You, know, you know, in China, KFC stands for Kang's Fried Chicken. Yeah. You, <laughs> did you see during the break they had the guy that they were interviewing with the Alliance shirt? I, do, I doubt that was an official Alliance shirt, let's just say. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, China is got the that factory like of the world. It, it is, it is. But we'll see uh, a DK go back for the Wisp. It's going to be uh, MMY Wisp. In no, no, it's up on the it's up on my Chinese stream. Okay, uh, because I'm watching on VTS, so it's a little bit slow. Okay, but okay, uh, yeah, okay, Wisp. Yeah, no spoilers and a lot of strings in this game. Tether, lasso. So we'll see how it works out. Ah. CK, Tony, Tony. Yeah, well, as soon as you see the Wisp, you've got to ban out. You you got to ban out that Tony. I imagine we'll see if that HGT do that or if they ban out something else. But now that we're in the second banning stage, if you want to ban out the Tony, you want to ban out other heroes to, t to to partner with that wisp you've got to do it now uh, otherwise dk probably will grab the uh the wisp tony mm. sand king did give them a lot of trouble last game so they ban it look at lanham having such a great time spinning his earphones mm. <laughs> it's like I, I, the thing i like about the chinese production value is you actually get to see the players and teams um like wpc is like the m most of the chinese dota content at the moment it's like five days a week with like four to six games each day and getting to see the teams and players like on on camera is always really nice. Like compared to like all the Western tournaments that go on every day, you never actually get to see the players. They just you only see them playing. You don't actually see them in person though. So it's a nice it's a nice change of pace. Well, the Tony gets banned, and you know what? What I really like to see. I mean, Ice Frog didn't make an effort to buff Sven in the last patch, and not a single person picked him. I guess there are a few stray picks here and there, but that guy has been left out in the cold. Well, uh, with a wisp, it's always uh, viable. You, you never know. I feel like Sven is only maybe good if you've got a wisp on your team, though. Like that, that makes him just so much stronger. Or Magnus. That's true. Yeah. Well, uh, but then again, if Magnus is what what it takes for Sven to be picked, then I'd rather he oh, not man. get picked. Respect ban onto to Mushi's OD. Hey, respect ban Mushi's OD. Then they go into a Morphling pick by HDT. We get a ZSMJ Morphling here. Still no Medusa. <sighs> I, I, I'm okay with the Morphling. This, this, I'm happy about this. <laughs> Mushi, uh, it, Mushi's like laughing about something yeah, right now. So, I don't know, he looked pretty sad to me. Is no, no. Laughing? Someone just told him a joke. 
I think someone played him the sushi probably song. Probably Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 probably showed him the sushi song and now he's laughing at it. Stream sniping confirmed. Yeah. We've got zero delay, so yeah, Ice Ice Ice, come on, man. That's not cool. I checked the viewer list. There's Ice Ice Ice. <laughs> really? Let me see. No. No, okay. I don't, think so. I don't think Twitch really works in China. You have to. You can only access Twitch through a VPN. Oh, that that sucks. So, we haven't. But anyway, we every now and then we get Chinese viewers. Like when we when our first tournament, like two years ago, the by Dota Masters, we didn't have a Chinese stream. Um, but so we had Chinese. Every time we stream games, it would be like a good like five hundred thousand Chinese viewers who all were accessing the stream using a VPN, and they would all spam the Twitch chat. It was it was quite funny wow. actually. But uh, doesn't the Fire LD bot ban out foreign language? No, no, we're we're very welcoming of foreign languages here on BTS. That was oh. when, like, because I know some channels are like English only, only. But when we did our first tournament, I was like, well, we have viewers from like the Philippines, from Thailand, from Vietnam, from wherever, because it was a Southeast Asian Chinese tournament. So it's like probably half of our viewers didn't even speak English. So having an English only chat, we're like, nah, we'll just make our chat diverse. We're we're very uh, accepting and welcoming of all people and languages here at BTS. If you guys in well, chat want to speak Chinese, go for it. That, that's good because, um, well, yeah. we tend to get a lot of, um, what do you call it, racial fights or racial yeah. riots in the chat sometimes, the, especially when the Filipino teams are playing. <laughs> the problem comes moderating them. Like we actually had two mods who spoke Filipino or Tagalog, um, Tagalog, whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Um, and then we had like a couple mods who spoke Chinese. So we actually had mods for each language to help out. Um, All right. But the problem is, we only had one or two for each language. So as soon as one or two wasn't there, then stuff would. Uh... Oh, Ricky! Oh no, I spoiled it. Damn it. Oh no, no. Ricky was Lysander, the please! The no, hype! No, Ricky, the Ricky, Ricky hype! Just came out of Invis. <laughs> just came out of Invis, but I'm excited. It's, this is something from the old Alliance. It's actually track. already been picked up. You guys just can't see him yet. Cause... He's Invis. Uh, we'll get a gem right now. <sighs> Nope, not yet. There we go. <laughs> he gets under that extra gold, and there we go. Pop the dust, and we see him. But something about Morphling, uh, his stats, 58% lose rate. So, mm. And now with Ricky on board, I, I think he might have trouble with the smoke screen. Now that now that can be popped without Ooh. revealing in this. Yeah, smoke, more screen's, for him. smoke screen's great against Morphling, too. Like, if you get the silence on him, like, to start the gank, he's not going to be able to morph strength or waveform out. Lysander... You know no Please, worries. no spoilerino. I heard the Ricky, and that's not something you hear every day. Ah, yeah. oh, you got you got to. I, I mute Dota two during the draft. Like I mute Dota two, I close, I, I minimize it, and I just watch the Chinese. Why you get so stream. many problems? That's why you get so many of these. I also of well, I, I have to mute Dota two because if I have the Dota two audio on, then not only I hear the sounds, but the stream will hear the the hero picks. So the stream will hear the heroes before they see it. <laughs> All right, right, okay. Like, yeah, here. I guess it's legit, but. Talking about DK's draft, they have Elder Titan. Does that go to Ice Ice Lines or is it a support Titan. Elder Titan? Which we it see could even be the old school mid Elder Titan. Like, it, this hero used to go mid every now and then. Bo the Bulba Mushi solo mid Elder everything. Titan? Mushi plays everything, so what am I talking yeah. about? Except for micro heroes. Ten he doesn't play Invoker, he doesn't play like Lone Druid. We did see, uh, we did, we did see Yamate play Brewmaster the other day, so he doesn't micro as well, according to Winter. Right. Well, he he doesn't, but he apparently can micro Brewmaster. Like Brewmaster's the exception. It's not that hard, actually. Yeah, I think it's a big misconception that like heroes like Meepo, Chen, and Brewmaster are hard to micro. I don't think they're actually that. I mean, I think they're hard heroes to play, but not because of the Ten micro. Seconds remaining. Surprising to see no Rasta. I have gotten quite Five accustomed to remaining. seeing him being picked up. DK's turn so, to pick. I don't know. Sprank gets banned, so are you sad? I'm a little sad. No wow, way. they have they have stats for Ricky. Damn, sixty-seven percent win rate with Wisp Ricky plus Batrider all, and I bet those games are all Alliance games. All those Wisp Ricky <laughs> games. Yeah, I think so. It's only sixty-seven percent, which probably says it's only been played three times. Like it's two wins, one loss, or something. Ten is my guess. Remaining. Yeah. Uh, this is when percentages get a little weird, and I like Five the Doom. It's remaining. a van here. As soon as you only ha get like three heroes together, there's such a small sample size that the stats... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call Storm Spirit. Queen nope. No, okay. Queen of Just as yes, yes, I said it, you're spoiling. No, look, I, 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 put the, I, put, I was trying to prove a point by putting the Dota 2 sounds on, so the Dota 2 sound spoiled it, so... Yeah. I don't know uh, what point I was proving, but I put the Dota 2 sounds on, so... It, 
I was I was thinking something mobile. That's why they're banning the yeah. Doom. But I'm surprised they pick up Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain has Support been Elder going Titan. to have fallen out of. It's favor. a Mushi Corp though. That's that's the big thing here. We get yeah. a Mushi Corp. I don't know. I, w I, w I would have thought Storm Spirit because uh, Wisp and Storm Spirit is pretty good as well. So yep. this time is your fault. So it's Punch God's time. No, I was I wasn't well. I, I, see, the thing is, we didn't spoil it for the chat because the chat heard the pick as I heard it. So even if I said Prepare nothing, they knew battle. it was picked up anyways. Okay. So, okay. There Damn. was no spoil, Lysander. I Don't throw me under the, the bus. I will take the punches. <laughs> Alright, Bushi Coop. Does the sushi people today? I don't know. Oh, we'll man, see. Is, it's, this... a, it's a tough tough game to actually burst people because of the uh, ever-annoying dazzle. So, yeah. oh. But it does allow you to blow people up. That's for sure, and he is going mid. Yeah, now Talisman first. God. So I'm I'm Just so excited for the, this game and this draft. DK, it's like you like you said, like the DK experiment against a team like HTT. I think they experiment against whoever. They don't care if they're versing newbie, IG, Vici Gaming. They'll how is their, they'll pick and draft position? however they like. How how's their position right now? Um, are they in WPC? Oh, wow, they're going for a mid pull. I think they're going mid burning and MMY, and they have Mushi on the side lanes. They're playing full on greed right here. Battle. I'm trying to get up the, the rankings to see exactly where DK are right now. I think they're doing pretty well. They should they, be comfortable. They beat but... Titan even when they had three stand-ins. And DK are one win and one draw right now. So, yeah. They've only oh, wow. played two. This is only their third series of WPC. So, one win, one draw. I'm not sure who they had to draw. I think the draw was against LGD, maybe? Oh, guys. Love you, chat. The love you so begins. much. Why do you punch me? Yeah. All right, so DK more, are going to play full on Creed. They jungle Lanham. They jungle Lanham. Which is why I said Creed, oh, uh, Bad I thought it was going to... Like yeah, Bad Rider doesn't oh, wow. seem like a mushy hero. And it's mushy, safe lane co-op, Elder Titan off lane, Ice Ice Ice, and Greed mode here for burning MMY middle, middle lane. lane. Yeah. They are greeding it up. And I think they're just capitalizing on the fact that Dazzle doesn't gank too well, I guess. They're going to use mid pulls here, I think, as well. Like, they already yeah. cut down all the yeah. trees. It's, yeah. It started off as Lamb picking the Elder Titan, so DK do the switcherino and put Ice 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 on the uh, Elder Titan. Because it looked like they were maybe going to support Elder and Titan. And aggressive Trilane, I think this is exactly what they need to do. Um, I'm not sure if they predicted this, but it's going to be pretty nasty. I think they wanted to shut down the Wisp lane, but in the end, uh, their mid laner is going to take a little bit of the brunt here. The, um, Nyx Assassin, uh, played by Kaka, is going to face them. Yep. We haven't run through the teams actually, so... No. Uh, I'm gonna run through DK because the hearts get together guys names a little bit funny. Mushi, it's gonna be the Queen of Pain. It's gonna be MMY on the IO. We'll have Burning on the mid lane Ricky with some cosmetics. Bat Rider with the Haste Rune played by Lanham and Ice 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 with the Stapler. It's gonna play the Elder Titan. And he has done a lot of damage to XTT. Yeah, uh, speaking of uh, XTT, he's gonna be your Hyper Glory team. Safe lane solo center in the mid lane. We've got S playing the Dazzle. He's gonna be supporting Kaka on the solo, well, not the no longer solo mid Nyx Assassin. Bottom lane, starting off as a tri lane, now a dual lane. ZSMJ, the legendary carrot player on the Morphling, and Pretty Whore gonna be the support Rubik for Team Hyper Glory. I wonder why you would go a uh, null talisman when safe laning. I, don't, I wonder. On Quap? He, he thought he had a 1v1. Oh, too bad. He thought oh, well, it was gonna be against the Centaur. Yeah. That, so... I would say almost certainly he was expecting Centaur bottom and then uh, tri lane Morphling up top. That was what DK were expecting. This lane's... And because of these lanes, they send the Batrider top. Um, they, they kind of have to mix things up a bit uh, as a result. But when you, when you pick Wisp as your carry, you usually have to expect the aggressive tri lane. I mean, Wisp is your carry? Uh, no, 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 not as a carry, but you know, as your tri lane support. Oh. Wisp just doesn't do well in tri lanes that well. It doesn't Especially actually... a Ricky that doesn't have a stun. It's not yeah. that good, especially without the stun on Tether now. I think they just expect ZSMJ to want to play that safe lane greedy farmer. Uh -huh. They didn't expect he's, ZSMJ he's a to change man. Lane. So, yeah. He's a changed man. And he nearly gets caught out there bottom lane, Mushi. The uh, good thing the about the Wisp mid is he's continually stacking these neutrals. He's got a triple stack already oh, for the Batrider. It's stunned there, top lane. He might go down here, stomp, double edge, first blood. Wow, first nicely blood. played. Center and Nyx Assassin team up, get the first blood there for HTT. First assassination is he went top just to kind of get some scouting and vision, but didn't do too much. Mid lane, S. meanwhile, S is in some trouble, has not got Grave. Burning should be able to finish him off. One more blink. It's going to get nice impale from the Nyx. They want to chase this one. Though. Blink strike on cooldown. Wisp is going to finish him off with the Spirits. Yeah. Balls to the face. So one for one here, but first blood has been dropped. Mushi goes down to dive. And oh, this is pretty strong. I mean, the yeah. Queen of Pain is very fragile in the early stages. If you don't have your blink up, you just get brought down really easily with the burst damage from Waveform. And Morphling surprisingly clicks for quite a lot of damage. So 
Yep. With the Ring of Basilius, makes Diving Tower a lot easier as well. Yep. Alright, well, Mushi just immediately TPs himself back to the bottom lane, keep on farming, and Wisp. Ricky, now with a kill on the board, this is going to help them out a lot. This, I think Wisp will just go for the fast bottle, get the HP mana regen that they can share. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, Elder Titan. I nice, nice, he careful. aggroed a huge ass creep wave here. Oh. And what's the Morphling going up top? They've, have they, oh, they switched their lanes, yeah. They want ZSNJ up top now. Gonna staple water to the ground, have you tried that? <laughs> <laughs> Batrider swoops in, gets himself some farm, some XP. Wisp, meanwhile, still stacking these neutrals. This is gonna be a quad stack now, so Batrider should come to these neutrals and probably farm it up now. He's got enough levels, I don't think he can stack it much more, and... Uh, he's actually gonna miss this stack, unfortunately, so it's only gonna be a triple stack. Oh, regen for him. He's gonna be happy about gonna that. Take it. Pick it up. Get stunned up. So they're not so happy about that. Oh. But now here comes the tether. No, Central's there to protect him. If Central doesn't come in, Kaka, in theory, could go down. Yeah. No spike. Yeah, one level in spike Kerbis. Yeah. Not gonna be enough. But the Dazzle's gonna get a lot of EXP. This is very weird laning coming out from both teams, I think. A lot of uh, lane switch ups. And now Mushi gets space uh, of all things. I thought they were pressuring pretty, pretty well. And now he's gonna get a very quick level 5. And Sonic Wave Online on underleveled supports is a recipe for disaster. And they're gonna rotate in, try and kill off the Ricky. And there we go, we're gonna find him to stun. Oh. Very well done there by the next assassin. And they're gonna stomp him and they yeah. edge him. No need for that. The heal bomb. One and three. That was, for one. That was really nice by Nyx. They they weren't gonna get the telekinesis. Ricky scouted the smoke gank out and was on the run, and the Nyx hits like a max distance impale. That was that was clutch. I liked it. Kaka man. Making the plays. Okay. Sick plays, and we'll see. It seems the... they're just happy with Mushi being shut down the one time. Like, they kill him once, they slow down his farm, and then they say, okay, we've shut Mushi down enough, let's send Morphling top to get his free farm. Um, because Mushi, like you said, he will get that level 6, which is good against these supports, but they've slowed him down so that he doesn't have too many items on top of this. Like, all he's got is a Boots, and Null Talisman, and a Magic Stick, uh, which is fine. Like, he's not behind that much, but it, it's just that one kill which is going to slow down his farm. Prevent him from Stop completely you. snowballing at least. Yeah, the um, the play is still the playing field is still pretty balanced at this point. I mean, DK we know they can come back. At least ZSMJ has got a pretty hard yeah. carry this DK time. DK are ahead on farm Rana's, right now. They're Rana's actually. Not your best. Oh, oh no, with the Sonic Wave maybe. Nah. No, not not even. Oh. Stick with a screen plus Sonic Wave, yes, but he hasn't got the mana for it. He's still getting right clicks. Central oh. man, don't take these right clicks. Oh, he's baiting him in with a hoof yeah. stomp. Yeah, you look at him. Mushi fake casted the Sonic Wave. If he uses Sonic Wave and got one more right click, maybe he gets the kill. But he mm -hmm. needs the extra right click as well as the uh, the Sonic Wave. And uh, he wouldn't have enough for Blink, so he couldn't go in there. Dyer's bottom and he's got oh. the mana now, so Centaur needs to be careful. But he's got the Tranquil Regen. Quick, he's gonna get stapled if he's not careful. Oh, top yeah, lane, yeah. Really careful. Ice 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 is all is alone up top, and the Telekinesis uh, already been used in. Level 1 touch, yeah, so... Here comes Lamb, though. Drops on Zervoid, and that doesn't get... They don't scout him casting that. Lamb sees oh, his Rubik, and I think oh, he's going to oh, go oh. for this kill. Bye bye. That's Batman. an easy kill. Double damage ring, not even needed. He just walks right over him. Sprays flames on him, walks past the Ogre camp, gets an extra farm, and this is going to help him with the huge stack that MMY has helped him get. He might actually get that uh, um, Blink Dagger a lot quicker. Yeah. Than this is... He killed oh, the stack once and he's going for it again. As uh, Mushi does like, talk about getting baited in, there was a vendetta from the Nyx Assassin. They kill off Mushi. Second time this game, he's been picked off. And boy, oh boy, Mushi not going to be thrilled with his start this game. Talked about his signature hero being the Queen of Pain, but that's where HET say, we're not going to let you come online. We're going to just keep on shutting you down, ganking you up. Yep. Uh... Sensor has been playing a good game and he's got his stampede ready. So a little bit of time up top, they bring it to ZSMJ to get farm, and now he's going for Lincolns. Is there a good re oh yeah, well there is a uh, good reason to get Lincolns in this game. Um Bat Rider. Yeah, Bat Rider. And there are not a lot of um, solo spells to break the Lincolns as well, so yep. they might have to waste the four staff on him or Shadow Strike, which is not exactly the easiest spell to get off. Uh, Blink Strike maybe. I think Blink Strike's blocked, I'm not sure. Well, Bat Rider now, uh, up to 1300 gold as a stampede being used. Oh, this is top lane. They've gone in. They want ice, ice, ice. They'll get the hoofs off. Mushi's there with a the sonic wave scream. Not enough damage, though. Dazzle heal saves all of their lives. Mushi, he's still going to scream. It looks like he wants to go for this kill. Blink up in two seconds. Does he go for this? He does. He gets the dazzle. Will he pay for this with life? ZSMJ out of mana, luckily. Mushi gets one in exchange, but it's a, I would say, a small win for HGT.
Um, Basil is just very annoying. Yeah, that heal, Mushi was not ready for. Attack. Otherwise, he gets himself a double kill, maybe even a triple kill. He's extremely powerful with heroes that uh, benefit from staying alive for that few extra seconds, yeah. like uh, Punch and Centaur. Unfortunately for DK, they didn't have Wisp level 6. Otherwise, that relocate gank would have finished everyone off at the top lane. They were all so low. One relocate was all they needed with a Ricky, but mm -hmm. MMY just about half a level short of the level 6. But despite that, I think... Um... Ricky, uh, I mean, the MMY has been getting a lot of good levels despite being a uh, dual lane with the um, Ricky. He has gotten nearly level 6 by just purely leeching a little bit and getting solo EXP with the neutrals. So I think he's been doing okay. The, um, I don't even know who the mid laner is for HGT in this game. <laughs> they have been rotating in and out. I guess Nick's Assassin, he's level Dyer's 7. But level attack. 7 compared to yeah. 2 level 6 in Taka's the dual lane. is meant to be the mid laner. Good. Like, he's. Mm -hmm. He's your solo mid player, but he got there was a dual lane mid because they were up against the Wisp Ricky. Like he's got level seven with arcane boots. He's doing pretty well, Kaka. He's actually one zero two, but he hasn't got that much farm on top of this. He's kind of been the, the space creator. Yeah, that is MJ getting forced back by Ice Ice. Uh, forgotten how painful the spirits were yeah. actually. Going for this, uh, yeah, max spirit plus aura build. The Bulba build. Could go Storm's for... pretty useless early on anyway. So. Yeah, it's just a drain on your mana pool, really. Dyer's Maybe you get one point at level 8, but I think you'd almost rather get the Earth Splitter than a point in the Storm. Yeah. And so he's going to get ganked uh, out now oh. top. Uh, this is the Ice 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 play. Dazzle. Maybe he drops a Spirit, he oh, survives. Look, yeah, he's coming. Drop a spirit. Oh, Stampede, bye-bye. He, he actually dies to the Carapace. Radiant's that Spirit ended his own life. S now on the run. There is a Grave. He's not going to get a chance to use it as the Scream comes in doing too much burst damage, but... I wonder if Ice 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 could have lived if he didn't hit if he didn't hit Nyx with the spirit he may have lived. Is under attack. Yeah, it would have been but close. He spirit for the extra move speed. He he popped it and tried to yeah. return it to himself for the extra boost with the magic stick. Try to get away, but it's Ice Ice Ice. He likes to stretch the limit of his mortality. Mm, on bottom. And, and bad rider of the blink. Ten minutes in, despite getting first blood. Dead centaur. Now out of trouble. Oh, he tried to get himself denied, but Mushy with the well timed <laughs> scream in his face, and that's gonna be that. The centaur takes a fall. Uh, doesn't have his blink dagger. It slows him down as well. Attack. Well, a better start to game two for DK than game one. The kills look even, but it's a 3,000 gold lead going DK's way. That's coming from all the jungle efficiency. They've stacked this big neutral camp like a good four, five, six times for the Batrider. Uh, Batrider already having a blink dagger. Queen of Pain's managed to catch up pretty well on farm and get some kills. Burning's farming well. Ice Ice, 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 ice in the off lanes working on a mech. He's actually almost got a buckler plus the headdress. So DK as a whole are just farming a lot better than uh, past game. As yeah. Ice 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 gets ganked at top, has the blink strike, so that can be a little bit of a cute play that hey. could be coming up, yeah. It puts you in harm's way, though. <laughs> you don't want to be yeah, blinking uh, into a uh, Blink a left or and die. But double damage here for the Bat Rider, and he's got his blink dagger, as it mentioned. Um, maybe going to the Tranquils in 4 staff. Uh, Ricky has to be careful, there's a sentry ward. He might be a little bit too happy with his life here. We'll see if the blink does come out. He could even blink to save his life, I mean, it's not entirely bad. Burning probably expects there to be detection here mid. Yeah, relocate's ready to save him out. No, let's, uh, bring him out anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. MMY with the positioning right behind him. Didn't end up going for the bottle, Dyer's I don't think. Just went for the attack. straight urn. And what's we'll see Ricky if he goes done? for Soul Ring. I think Ricky doesn't really need a lot of mana. He's that's got drums. So this, I mean, he's got all the mana in the world now. Like, Treads Dyer's drums is a 450 mana pool, which attack. is plenty for a Ricky. No. Mushi is going for an Orchid. And I don't like how... Uh, ZSMJ's farm is looking. He's Dyer's bottom tower. very far yeah. behind it to the last hit. Wow, look at the top four last hits. All yeah. Radiant heroes. Okay. I, I, I thought I had that setting where it was Radiant Dyer, yeah. but no. No, this is this is Radiant top, all on top of the chart. Some of the, a lot of the Bat Riders is neutrals. So his is a little exaggerated, but the other three heroes is all actual creeps. It's Elder Titan spam, and now they're going to come in with the smoke. <laughs> no, they've been picked off the courier. <laughs> Oh, and now to come here with the last one. Things get from them. bad to worse. He is morphing strength here, but I think he may go down anyways. There's enough damage. Is there a waveform up into the trees? The flame breakers there. He waveforms through the heroes. Stampede being used as well. Sonic Wave is going to finish him off, but the Carapace does a lot of damage. They lose the uh, Batrider in return. Now Centaur showing up. Going to get a second kill as DK lose the Ricky. Relocate out from the Wisp, and that's going to be uh, a, a DK full on retreat. That was actually morphing, staying alive long enough that his team could get there and turn the fight around. If he wasn't Morphing Strength, he dies right away. But luckily for Morphling, he was Morphing Strength. He could have actually survived too. He waveformed through them when he could have just waveformed up into the trees. I'm pretty sure 
yeah. HET could have lost no one there almost. Maybe they needed yeah. the waveform damage to get some of those kills, but... Dyer's middle tower Surviving is more is important attack. as you, hit, you can see the last hits. It's not really He's, looking good yeah. for him. And the spirit spam is just really annoying. The soul ring tranquil boot uh, build is just really, really annoying. <laughs> and just when he has a mech, oh man, it gets even worse. You just spam it on cooldown. Uh, but burning did die there, so that was uh, not as good as it could have been. I expect the defusal. Ricky, is that a good yeah. idea? I think Urch is great against Stampede. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it works because Stampede is not uh, like Surge, I think. Is it like Surge? I'm not sure. I think you can be slowed because I've seen Stampede units yep. get slowed in Ice Wall. So. I have too. It's not like a, it's not like a max. Dyer's it's not a guaranteed max move. Oh, oh, wow, burning! Quick. Oh, oh, he moved forward and now he's trying to turn this one around with the Wisp Tether. He gets a Blink Dyer's Strike onto the Rubik. Rubik looks attack. very, very dead here. And does go down to the ice ice ice, and now they've got the lasso into ZSMJ. He is morphing to yeah, script here. Blink strike going to go in the main here. Is he a waveform away from ZSMJ? Ricky unable to finish anyone off. He actually just blinked himself out of there as ice 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 gets stunned up, and just the one casualty for HGT. Oh, burning with the fancy footwork. Just dodges all the stuns. Mushi's just farming though. He's bottom lane. He's got a completed orchid now. Yeah, he's sharpening his sushi knife. This is something Mushi was even when he used to play Queen of Pain mid all the time for RNG Sports. He would always farm a lot like you don't see him like he, he plays fairly aggressive going for kills but he'll also make sure whenever he's not going for kills he's farming a lane like he plays his quap like a one position carry almost oh. mushy likes his farm he's one of those mid farmer kind of mids uh mid farmer kind of mids. but yeah you know like rtz like we said earlier and not like the type that likes to roam as much he does roam but he likes Dyer's his money, and he's got his orchid. He skip threats for this. It depends a lot on the hero. Like Queen of Pain, he'll farm a lot more. If he's playing a, a puck or something, he will gank and prioritize creating space for his team. Dyer's he plays, he's been playing quite a bit of Nyx attack. Assassin over the past two to three months as well. So Nyx Assassin is one of those heroes where he likes to play in mid when it's more off lane-ish. Yeah. Dyer's top and for the sake of ZSMJ, yeah, he's not going top. <laughs> They're just waiting. Uh, Wise decision. <laughs> yeah. It looks uh, suspiciously empty, but it's not. Nyx has a blink dagger for HGT. That's good news for them. They needed that. The crew are going to be respawning as well, which is what brings that out. And they've got double blinks with both Center and Nyx having it. So it's looking at their lineup from a strategic point of view, they can fight Dyer's a whole lot better now with these blink daggers attack. if they can get some good pickoffs. If they initiate on the Quop or the, especially the Bat Rider, if you blink on him before he blinks on you, you insta kill him and you can chain stun and bring him down. But Whoever gets those initiations will win these fights. Burning. Top tower has Burning. Mm. He's this gotta try. Tricky. Yeah, he's... They get the tether slow, but yeah. even they, a stamp they beeping stamp you. Oh. They stamp on a wisp, but his wisp dodges out of there. Now is there gonna be a lift up? No. He blinks to the wisp, and now the crack up. Oh, oh, two oh. of them. The sonic wave. They just evaporate, and now they pull the Nick's assassin in. He's gonna be spinning in the, on the spot. The smoke screen on top of that as well. Central tries to stomp that inside, but now here's your ultra kill by Mushi. Oh man, where's my rampage? Oh no, that is MJ. Not gonna give him that honor. And well, did anyone order fried fish? I mean, sliced fish because they Mushi just is. grouped up for that yeah. Elder Titan Earth Splitter. Yeah. That oh was boy. a pretty huge one by Ice Ice Ice. They just got torn apart. Ice 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 perfectly spliced, didn't even need the stomp to set it up. This HGT were already gathered together and couldn't Dyer's get away from it. And tower has fallen. Then you had you see them panic scrambling. Up. They were <laughs> they were trying to get out of there. They pulled them right back in. Yeah. Oh. It's yeah. it's really tough to play against DK when you have such um maneuverable I mean not maneuverable, but you know, flexible players. I mean Ice 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 and Mushi both used to be solo mids and carry at one point, Ice 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 was a carry at one point, so it's really hard to tell who's going to play what and who's going to play what role, so yep. I mean, they played full on greed and weren't punished for this. That's that's the thing that gets me with DK is like, they'll play one playstyle one game and then the next game they'll play something completely different. Every game, they change their playstyle depending on what draft they have and what team they're versing. And even against a, a, t a certain, like this team, HGT, they play Dyer's in two games in a row and they do two completely different playstyles. They go greedy farm with Minus's game one, game two, mm -hmm. much more aggressive team fight with a Wisp. Like, yeah, you just lanes. never know what you're going to get with DK. Yeah, yeah like, I think they're, they're one of those teams where even though they're winning, you can continue supporting because it's always something new with them. Yeah. It's not like uh, pick Dyer's Naga all the way and win, pick Morphling attack. all the way and win. It's more. We pick anything we want, and we still win. I think it's complete opposite of like some of the teams like Alliance, Empire, yeah. LGD China. These so kind of teams that find a playstyle that works, and then just profit. repeat the same draft over and over again. 
if you watch Empire play, you can predict 90% of their draft most of the time. Same Cross for a team like well. LGD China during the TI2, TI3 era. They were drafting the same thing every game, but they it worked because they refined it. With a team like DK, they don't refine strategies. They just play every strategy to catch their opponents off guard. I mean, have you seen Ice 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 play on stream? Oh, nope, they're gonna stomp burning in the middle lane. Is there gonna be a relocate to save him? There might be! Yep, yeah, they get him out! And oh, only relocates him back to the back. And that is some great distance. They can go back in now. Right, yeah. yeah. Now, Stampede smalls out, and they push them away from the relocate relocate yep. spot. So, very well played by them. And yeah, have you seen Ice 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 play on his stream? Every he now and then, yeah. Weird yep. stuff all the time, like Undying Roam. And all yeah. that. He had a bot on that. He had a specific bot for that one. That was really fun to watch. Oh man. It makes all the things work. And then you try it in the pubs for yourself and you fail. <laughs> yeah, you wonder like, how does this guy make anything work? Like, yeah. It's very well done. It's very fun to watch them. And we have the tragic score. So, I don't know. How does Bat Rider have the most last hits in this game? Jungle mostly. Like, it's somewhat. Like, his actual of, net worth is. A lot of or bolts or cobalt. Probably about thirty or like thirty to forty of that is neutrals, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Not all small neutrals. Like he's killed the big camp. Like he's probably killed about seven or eight of these big camps because it got stacked twice. Like there was two triple stacks there, I want to say. So that would be yeah. like I'd say about thirty to forty of his last hits. But HGT smoked up now. They realize they're in a bit of a tough spot here. And even though they've That's got the late game carry morphling, he didn't even go straight for the Lincolns. He picked up a ghost scepter just to help him stay alive against this Ricky. If you get caught in a cloud, you can use your Ghost Scepter to stay alive, I guess, but it also but sets it up for Clop. So, no use for that. Yeah. Diffusal Beat. Uh, it's really good for Riki oh, because good. it prevents you from running, it prevents you from ghosting. And I think it stops Stampede. I need to find out for once and for all, because I've always been saying that. Never seen it. You could always Ghost Scepter after the Diffusal Blade, because I said, I mean, you can argue that, hey, he's going to wait for the Ghost Scepter before he diffuses, but if he smoke screens the Morphling, Morphling can just walk out of it and wave form away. He has to use the Diffusal to slow Morphling to keep him in the smoke screen. And then after the Diffusal, you can Ghost Scepter, but. But then Mushi screams at you, so. Yeah, yeah. Mushi is the counter to the Ghost Scepter, so. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. He sees the be... Ghost Scepter. Burning sees the Ghost Scepter now, so he knows what he's up against, so maybe he'll be. Uh, a bit more conservative about using Diffusal. And even better, he may run into Dazzle. This Dazzle is done. Diffusal. There's a Grave coming out. Stampede being used as well. Actually, not going to get the kill there. No, the offensive burn shot's not going to drop damage. There's a Shadow Wave as well. Burning. Uh, getting thrown up into the air. He's taking a lot of damage. Sonic Wave. Ice, ice, ice. With the Split Earth as well. Doing too much damage. Mushi blinks forward. Centaur. Oh, he blinks out. Just barely. Yeah. How's the Titan searching? What's this but. Nyx thinking? I don't think this Nyx is, is saying if he wants to go into this fight. No, he's, he's not doing it. Oh. The crack has tower. been really on the point here with Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, that Earth Splitter. He has been doing a very good job, I think. The, um, and Burning somehow staying alive throughout attack. the fights, I think, MMY. He got really. down to like below half HP. MMY with heals. Tether, with tether and Mechanism is yeah. just... So was, I think he got double mech by when by the Elder Titan because of the tether healing up and, MMY and burning. It's one and double is nearly close to 600 heal, 600, 650 yeah. heal. Ridiculous stuff. Amount of heal and yeah, Ricky is one of those guys with high armor. He's resilient to right clicks, but you put him with um, you put him with a mechanism or burst heal, he just doesn't die. Yep, and burning. He's got ages now, so he's gonna be less worried about the dying part. And he's died twice this game actually, and not gotten any kills. Um, kill securing all done by Lanham, who is, has <laughs> a amazing kill score. And we have Mushi with the eight and two. Mushi's the uh, ultimate kill securer right now, and just screams at them. I mean, he just he's on mop up duty yeah. this game. What's the thing? Like you look at this draft, and it's Ricky's. Like sure, he's like a he's one of their farmers, but he's not like the actual carry carry of this draft. I mean, he's probably scales better the late game than the Queen of Pain, but the Queen of Pain's the one who's going to get the kills and be more mobile and actually do more damage in a teamfight than a Ricky. The Ricky's kind of like the distraction almost. Yeah, he's the he's the guy making the space for the big AOEs to come in, and yeah. now the next assassin spots MMY out just for the Wisp, and they're going to kill him. Burning, smoke screen thing there. Now Burning may go pay for this one with his life. He's got an Aegis, but invisibility is immortality. Um, not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question but that one. But they didn't have any detection there. So. Yeah. yeah, they actually did not have detection. That was 
They had sentries on Dazzle, but Dazzle's... They've got the Nyx gem. Nyx did not... Nyx did not chase Elm. Yeah, I think he gave up. I think he thought that Burning was dead, and he just stopped. I, I think he was also worried about Queen of Pain and Dyer's Batrider showing up and getting counter kills, because if Burning has no Aegis, they make sure they kill him, but because he has the Aegis, if you overextend, just get rid of the Aegis and then lose your team, it's definitely not worth it. Well, Mushi was up Dyer's poking the tower, tower, so I don't know what they were afraid of, so... Yeah. I don't know if they was up... I think that he, Mushi then went for the push after the, the fight bottom, but... Either oh way, man, Blink IO. I like it. Oh man. Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is I think the is first time a, I saw Blink IO was mi a miracle. A big play? I, I remember when Miracle first did this and I got so excited about seeing the, the Blink IO. I mean, that was a gimmicky kind of um, save, not self save, but yeah. is there a real reason you want your IO to get Blink? I, I can think of one reason that is to charge up, okay, mid lane, a bomb lane, Mushi yeah. getting caught, he's gonna Blink away. Just get Just to Blink out. Just his to the maximum and now. They Nick get the gem? That's a dead Nyx with a gem on himself. He's gonna get that to the... And that's a extra bonus. <laughs> kill secure. Hey, I made the space. I earned a kill. And yeah. He goes in and screams at Rubik. Mushi does that really nice. Like, he pops his BKB and doesn't blink out until the last second as well. Like, he really baits him in by not blinking right away. Giving time for Ricky and Wisp to show up and get the cleanup. Mm, yeah. Oh, wow. Solo kill. How the Titan? How? He got it was a stomp and an astral spirit use. It looks like he just astral stomps and gets a kill. Amazing. That is not something that should happen. Yeah. This is looking bad for HGT. There's gonna be a BKB soon on your Ricky. And when he's got the BKB, then he can kill like any hero he wants to that he goes on. Apart from anyone who gets graved up, but Nyx, you oh, can't you blink away, blink Rubik. Blink dagger? What? What's that? Morphling blink dagger. Wait, seriously? That, now that's a Jimmy play. Uh question mark? That's a Jimmy play. That is... Oh, they're going to get onto Ricky again. But <laughs> the Blink Bag are going to die. And the Ghost Scepter as well. And now he's going to get part He's stuck in the silence. He can't get out of the silence. Oh, no. Oh, Mushi. Beyond Godlike. Two games in a row. Mushi with Beyond Godlike streaks. This is the Mushi of old from RNG Sports. We haven't seen this Mushi come out as much with DK because DK put him more on the tempo controllers. But this two-game series... Mushi has had two Beyond Like God streaks in a row Dyer's and have gotten DK. It looks like a game attack. 2 win. They're on the high ground. They're forcing HTT to try and defend. S getting stunned up way behind the tier 3 tower. Can you explain the Blink Dagger gods? I mean, I, have some I, competitive experience. Normally, I try and defend players and say, oh, this is probably what they're thinking. Dyer's with the Blink Dagger on Morphling, I can't, I don't know, I, I can't think of anything. I was about to call you Winter. I can't think of anything like that. Maybe he surprises Lana with the breaking another keyboard. Fortified. I. I just can't think what the blink dagger is for here. I'm just, I, I think it's a throw out. Blink blade coming! Oh, the TP, the blink, so good! Silas has said so, no stamps even 20 seconds. Uh, uh, the crack yeah. comes along. Ice 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 gonna catch him in the nice... No! Nope, not. Gonna catch a bunch of creeps. Yeah. And yeah, uh, that's gonna go down there. And this is GG. Mushi playing with food. And yeah, just stealing kills to the very end. He's still poking away at the heroes. ZSMJ using his blink dagger. Sonic to wave, him. Sonic wave. No. That was level three as well, but GG. Yeah. I I think the blink was a troll, like a just a fun troll item. Like I think the is like, like, look, we kind of lost. Let's have one last fight, and I'm gonna blink dagger in. DK. Yeah. You know he TP it in and blink back with. Let him yeah. TP. <laughs> His team get picked off. Oh well. HGT's laughing. I I saw one of the players in the booth was just laughing. So they don't seem too upset about the loss. Um, <laughs> I guess they found some humor in ZSMJ's blink dagger as well. Uh, casual but. shrug. I was like, oh well. <laughs> but looking at the replay, uh, Nyx Assassin did get a nice impale across. So that was cool. He did get what, sorry? He get a ni he got a nice impale. Okay, yeah. But He's ended the game 3, 2, and 4. I, I didn't get any kills. I think Kaka played this game really well. Like, his Nyx Assassin got the early kill on... Got the, the second kill on Mushi. He was 3, 2, and 4 at the end. He really did create a lot of space. The safe lane sent, although, didn't do too much. I feel like that was the hero. XTT just didn't offer as much in the fights later on. I don't know. but Yeah, I mean, looking at the scoreboard, who's the real carry on DK? Mushi, Mushi, Mushi. Look at that GPM, that Queen yeah. of Pain, no man. That's that's how he plays his co-op. Like, it's the Mushi way. And it's, it's, it's this, like, solo mid carry style. Uh, not so much. It's, it's kind of different to your Arteezy style, because he plays actual carries, like SF. Morphling mm -hmm. mid and Nagasari mid. With Mushi, he'll play like a Queen of Pain and then just play it like a carry, so. 
I mean, when you have two of your solo mid finalists in the same team, you are gonna have a pretty yeah. powerful team. So I don't know. Ice Ice played great on his Elder Titan as well. He had a few of his a few of his signature feats, but he played good. All yeah. the cracks were amazing, and solo kill on the Centaur. I mean, I don't know how he did that. Look, Ice 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 comes up with a way, and well, with that, we're done for today. WPC Dota action has wrapped up for today. There's more matches tomorrow. Got two more best of twos tomorrow for the WPC. Um, I believe LD slash Zayuri will be casting those. I'm not entirely sure. I've got a day off. LD it's my first recovered. day off in ages. So has LD recovered from apparently? Yeah. He, he had some emo tweets about missing someone. So I don't. I hope he's okay. I need to go have a heart to heart with him after the cast. Oh. Like LD man, what's what's going on? It's his mom, okay. you know. Yeah. Maybe he's talking about his mom. He's homesick. Yeah. yeah. You know. Needs his bums, honey, and lemon. Yeah. But, but yeah, there this we was it. a great game by DK. We didn't really expect anything else. I mean, no. the people in Dota 2 lounge as well. I was surprised by game one. HGT played mm -hmm. really well in game one, and I think they should have won game one. Just DK, it's too good. They won Starlighter for a reason, because they can come back in those games. But I think HGT, they'll look back at game one and say, man, we could have taken one of these games. And that would have been a, a victory in itself, because they weren't expected to beat DK. Yeah, so... Well... No rares today. Oh, we happy for the underdogs, but hey, DK played well. It was great casting a few gods. Yeah, um, great casting as well. Um, where can people follow you and support you, Lysander? You guys can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Uh, Lysander Zenora. It's Lysander Zenora. I'll type in chat. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can follow BTS Gods on Facebook and Twitter as well. Remember to follow BTS or be on the summit on Facebook and Twitter for future updates. Um, yeah, on future casts and everything. Support the inaugural. Yay, yay. Yeah. The inaugural's over, though. I mean, the summit. We had the yes. grand finals. Titan vs. Scythe. Yeah, it ended. Um, but yeah, the summit, the summit coming up soon. Uh, Support the, the summit coming up. The okay. I think our first group stage matches will start the 25th, which is tomorrow for Europe. And then the 28th will start China. Uh, we should be announcing a schedule fairly soon for that. So I believe the 25th will be our first day. And that, yeah. Sounds so uh, be sure to tune in. Yep give us all your support and we appreciate it thanks for watching much love and kappa well thank you lysander um guys we're done for today uh big thanks to everyone who tuned in and uh the wpc will come back tomorrow as said be sure to follow and support lysander we'd like to say a big thanks to uh, all the bts sponsors uh, as well as uh people who will be supporting our upcoming tournament the summit uh it's gonna be in the dota tv store coming this week so uh be sure to check that one out be sure to check out our other sponsors 100 tb as well as esportsventure.com you can check out their links below the stream uh, there's some cool bonuses that you get for signing up to some of their stuff through BTS. But there you go, guys. There's your current standing. Titan on top of the charts. That's after playing all of their matches. So they're done. Whereas a team like DK has actually only played uh, three best of two series. So they've actually, they're five and one right now. They're actually looking pretty good despite sitting on seventh place in the standings. But guys, we're done for today. Big thanks to Lysander for joining me. Be sure to follow him on twitter.com slash Lysander And as said, we'll be seeing you guys later. Much love and Kappa indeed. See you guys.